Hey everybody, my name's Ryan and welcome to the Caregiver's Toolbox, Tools for Everyday Caregiving. And today we're going to go over a very basic, general question. What is private home care? And a lot of people don't know what private home care is, and it's not because they don't want to know, it's just mainly because they don't need to know until an emergency happens with their parent. Whether that's a major fall or a broken bone and they go into a hospital or to a rehab center and then as they're discharging they realize they are going to need help to take care of their older adult or parent once they get back into their home. So that's when a lot of family members start to very quickly take the crash course on figuring out what is private home care? What is a VNA service or Medicare home care? What is hospice if that's needed? And what are the different options involved? So in this video, we're going to talk about what is private home care services. So private home care means that you're going to be paying out of pocket for caregivers and aides to provide assistance for your loved one. Private home care does not get reimbursed through medical insurance or Medicare or Medicaid. It is going to be considered out of pocket. You're going to be paying for it with either a check, cash, or a credit card. Long-term care insurance does provide assistance, assuming that you have purchased a long-term care insurance policy. If you haven't and you don't know what long-term care insurance is, we will be doing a video on that in the future. But more than likely, most people do not have long-term care insurance because it is extremely expensive to purchase. Private home care generally offers between 4 and 24 hours of care and help in the home. Both hourly care, meaning in 4-hour shifts, 6-hour shifts, 8, 12, 24-hour shifts, or live-in care services where a caregiver actually moves into the home and is there for multiple days or a full week at a time. And if you're not familiar with what live-in services are, we're going to be doing on a video on that soon. Generally, if you go through an agency like Minute Women, you're going to be getting caregivers that are employed and insured and trained and they have ongoing assessments done to make sure that they're keeping up with doing a good job in the home. While if you go with somewhere with Craigslist or you hire an independent caregiver, there isn't going to be that oversight. There aren't going to be those statutory benefits like Social Security and workers' compensation and unemployment taken out of their paychecks or taken out of the employer's taxes which would be you if you hire them, with an agency you're going to have that all taken care of because they are employed and they are going to be insured. In the end, what's going to happen is you are paying for someone to be at your parents' home at any given time, whether that's for a few hours during the day or whether that's for 24 hours. You are paying for somebody to be there at a moment's notice for one-on-one -on -one care. And they are going to be doing and helping your parent with the activities of daily living, also known as ADLs. And if you don't know what those are, you're going to find out about them in the next video. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day. And thank you for watching the first video of the Caregiver's Toolbox, Tools for Everyday Caregiving, What is Private Home Care?